Hi, welcome to the Tony Narrative, and I appreciate you taking your time to join me today on what I would like to call a unique hack. So recently I purchased the Rode Wireless Go, and with that being said, the idea behind the Rode Wireless Go is absolutely perfect. You get a wireless, wireless receiver, and you get a wireless transmitter. You would clip the receiver to the hot shoe of your camera and you would just clip on the transmitter to maybe your shirt like so get that bad boy in there clip it onto your shirt I like to clip it on top of my bill cap sometimes um, just drop the wind muff but you can pretty much clip it wherever you can uh, find access to it you can even, if you have a hot shoe splitter, where you can put multi attach multiple, you can attach an attachment to use multiple cold shoes on there, you can just clip both of them on there right there in a way. So that way you would have your transmitter and then your, rec well, your receiver and your transmitter right next to each other on top of your camera, giving you that run and go shotgun mic setup. I love that idea but I didn't love the idea of having to attach another piece to use one item so why would I need another attachment to just use these in a shotgun mic situation the idea behind using a shotgun mic versus a standard shotgun mic like I'm using today would be say I'm out and about and I'm just doing a normal everyday vlog and I have the transmitter the road transmitter clipped on my clipped on somewhere or have a lobular mic attached to it but that's only capturing audio from just myself um, it may it will catch some ambient noise around but if I'm directly pointing the camera somewhere I would love to catch the ambient noise from that scenery that action that person um, especially if somebody else is talking it's a hassle for me to take off my transmitter with the lav if I'm wearing a lav that day and then attach it to that person so I came up with this idea that eliminates all that and this is the transmitter and receiver together so what I wanted to do was clip the receiver and the transmitter on top of one hot shoe with that whole shotgun mic essence to it so this is one piece now just hooked onto my hot shoe but I couldn't figure out how to do it um, I wanted to just I saw that road had like a mag clip where you can attach a magnet to the back side of the clip and snap it onto your, your shirt that way I was like maybe that worked for the camera but I wasn't sure about you know putting a magnet on top of the road receiver because I wasn't sure about interference or even having a magnet that close to my camera without causing any issues so after doing a little bit of thinking and troubleshooting of like st things I crafted in the past, I came up with this idea. So both items, I'm just holding one of them. I'm just holding the trans um, the transmitter, and all I did was here it, attach Velcro. So I put Velcro on the transmitter and on the receiver. So the receiver side, I have the the rough edges and then the transmitter I have the soft part of velcro and the reason why I did the soft part of velcro on the transmitter was because if it goes inside your shirt then it, it doesn't scratch you up also too it's gonna help with a little bit of that vi extra vibration that comes off of your body so you get a little more clarity if you're having it clipped on and then the scruffy side of the of the velcro that's on top of the receiver and it was easier to cut out the eye so that when you turn the receiver on you can still read all your your information right there and just turn that bad boy back off boom and then on the transmitter you do have your, you still have access to your two LED lights right there, which you can kind of see showing up now. So you still can see that, and it's just that simple. You do have to make sure that when you clip them together, you don't clip them where 
both the power buttons are connected to each one another because when you go to put this on your hot shoe the mic will be facing back towards you now that's not a problem if you're going to run and gun and you don't want to and you don't want to take this off you can and clip it onto your shirt and you do have it facing this way for audio ahead of you but you want to capture audio from you we just pull it off and stick it back down there just like so and it's that and it's that simple so now i have the audio facing back towards me real simple 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 idea and it cost me about three bucks about a velcro from my local walmart um now there are some issues with it still so i'm still like working on it trying to make sure i can get this velcro to stay on there the main issue is the plastic material they use on the fronts on the top of the, the wireless goes don't really allow for adhesive to stick very well and I'd much rather not glue the Velcro on there, which I could if I wanted to. I don't ever foresee myself wanting to peel this off. And if I do want to peel it off, I can just go buy a second unit and not have the Velcro on there. But that is an option if you find that your Velcro is not sticky enough. You can't find the right Velcro. I just use that your normal um, Velcro that you would buy. Um, you can always glue it on there. Uh, I think Gorilla Glue makes Velcro. I might try them next. They're a little bit tougher, but their residue lasts a little bit while. Their residue stays on there for a little bit longer. Um, but that's a real, real quick, simple hack. So you can take your wireless goes and you can turn them into a wireless shotgun mic per se. Um, it's not really wireless because you still got to hook the res the receiver up to your camera, but. You, in essence, your wireless goes become a shotgun mic, and you can control all your settings right there still just as well. So if you don't want to carry a shotgun mic in the in the wireless go in your travel bag, say if you're trying to be more minimal, minimalistic about what you're carrying, this is this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Um, both your USB-C ports are on one side, so you can quickly access those. Um, you can, the cool thing is they'll both be on the same size. You can stick your chargers in there and just run straight versus having one go that way and one go the other way. So that was, uh, that's pretty neat right there. It's almost like this was made to be set up that way. And I truly wonder if there's gonna be maybe like in the future from Rode, a case that you can pop these into. Maybe they have like a little buckle system where you can just snap the transmitter on top of the receiver and just run and gun. So there you go. Thank you for stopping by and checking this out. And I hope you appreciate the quick two minute hack. So run down your local Walmart, pick up some Velcro um, and snap it on there. You will have to measure these out though, pretty accurately. Um, I cut, I think there were Oh, oh my gosh, um, three centimeters by, 3.8 centimeters um, length and width. So there's a, I just cut out a square piece of Velcro, 3.8 3 centimeters on each side. And then to get this cut out, um, it's a little more difficult. So I think this is about, um, uh, well, I cut the so I so I to make the, the the face I started about a centimeter off to the edge and a centimeter off to the edge and then I just cut down like a centimeter and a half and just trace out that way. I'll, I'll make a tutorial on how I made this in the future, um, but it's pretty simple. I can't remember the measurements are room down somewhere, so I do apologize about that. But it's it won't take you that that long to kind of figure that out. It's trial and error too. I you might not want to. You might not care about the screen. You might just cover the whole thing. It'll take two seconds if you do that. But I wanted to make sure I can still see the screen, though it doesn't have that much re that much information on there other than, you know, is the transmitter connect um, turned on? Is the receiver turned on? Do you have connection between the two devices? You got your one, two, three different DB settings on there, which you can technically hear if you have this hooked up hooked up to a monitoring system where you can see your readouts. So you really don't need that screen per se, unless you want to monitor your battery levels. And 
I mean, I charge mine every other day. So I know they're fully charged on the go. And if they're dead, then I use a regular shotgun mic. But awesome. Thank you for joining me today. Tony Narrative Show is out.